Weather this Thursday afternoon really wasn't too bad on the mild side with cloud cover streaming into the region, filtering out the sunshine a bit, and now the rain is starting to move in along with that cloud cover, mainly in Covington County right now, light to moderate rainfall, but further to the west towards Mobile and points westward, that's where we're starting to see that rain coming on shore. Pensacola and all that is going to be working eastwardly into the wire grass over the next couple of hours, so our rain chances will be increasing this evening. And as those rain chances increase, the temperatures are going to be sitting on the mild side. These temperatures in the 50s and 60s are pretty similar to what we will be waking up to for Friday morning. So really not much of a change in the temperatures, just a change in those rain chances. The highest rain chances will be later on this evening and into the overnight for the early morning hours on Friday. And then tomorrow morning, those rain chances will begin to taper off, but it is going to be pretty heavy rain at times. Our latest computer forecast models projecting upwards of, say, one to two inches for most of the area. I through Saturday and I think a little bit further to the east, we could see some higher rainfall amounts. And because of that, we do have a flood watch in place until Friday evening. And the county's highlighted in green until 6 o'clock uh, in the evening hours, mainly for our counties, uh, Jackson and Washington counties, as far as our wiregrass coverage area, and also the Georgia counties, with the exception of Early County. The rest of the area still does have the chance of having some heavy rain at times. So if you do come across a flooded roadway, certainly turn around. You never know how deep it is going to be, especially since it's going to be dark out when most of the heaviest rain will be occurring. And this is why we have an area of low pressure over Texas. That's directing all the moisture in from the Gulf of Mexico along these boundaries. And that's really helping there to be a little bit of lift. There could be even some thunderstorms down towards uh, the coastline south of Interstate 10. That's where we do have the better chance of having a few stronger storms, maybe even getting close to severe limits. But that's likely not going to be the case for us further north. But that rain will be with us and pretty heavy after midnight. Most of the area is seeing that shield of moderate to heavy rain, those temperatures in the 50s. First thing tomorrow morning after sunrise, most of that heavier rain. Will be shifting out to the east and then later on in the morning and in the afternoon, some passing showers will be anticipated. And then there is a chance that some of the storms to the east tomorrow do have a better chance of turning strong or severe. And we keep a low in rain chance in the forecast through the first part of Saturday, even into the evening hours. There could be a few passing stray showers, but that greater threat is going to be a little bit more to the east as an area of low pressure uh, edges to the east as well. Closer to home for tonight, we'll give you a better view of what we are expecting for tonight. If you're heading out overnight, maybe heading in for a very early morning shift, you're going to be encountering some very heavy rain. Temperatures on the mild side, then, then mid morning tomorrow. That's when conditions will begin to. To improve as far as that rainfall for tonight. Heavy rain anticipated. Temperature is staying mild. 50s, upper 50s at that, and there's a chance that some spots will stay maybe even in the 60s as well going in through the next seven days. We'll be looking at those temperatures staying mild with the rain chances decreasing into the weekend. Um, Sunday, a mostly cloudy sky as that low pressure system will still linger around the region, but mostly to the east. The cloud cover will thin out starting the next work week, and then a beautiful sunny stretch of weather with temperatures. In the 60s. Who's excited? 